Number 46, the sine of theta equals t. Then for all theta in the interval, theta is between zero and pi over two, the tangent of theta equals. So if you don't understand that theta is between pi over two and zero, you definitely wanna re-review your unit circle, okay? We know that if we go over 180 degrees or pi from zero radians, we're over here, the zero radians and zero degrees, pi radians and 180 degrees, and between zero and pi or is 90 degrees or pi over two radians. So they're telling us here that theta is in the first quadrant. So we're gonna draw sort of an arbitrary triangle because we don't know what it looks like. And we'll say that this angle right here is theta. Now they tell us that the sine of theta is equal to t. Well, that's the same as saying that the sine of theta is equal to t over one, because we know t divided by one is simply t. And we also know that sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse side. So in this case, t over one is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So from here, the opposite is t and the hypotenuse is one. This problem is fairly common on the ACTs as well. This is like ACT 101 here. But now they want to know what's the tangent of theta. Well, if we call this missing leg here A, the tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So T over A was what we would want to find. So we're going to find T over A. However, all the answer choices are in terms of T. We need to solve for A by using Pythagorean theorem. So we know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared Pythagorean theorem. That means that a squared plus t squared equals one squared. And we know one squared is one, so I'll remove the square. Now we're gonna solve for a, so we're gonna subtract t squared from both sides. And we have a squared set equal to one minus t squared. And now to solve for a, we'll square root both sides. And now we have a equals the square root of one minus t squared. So this side right here, we can also call the square root of one minus t squared. They want the tangent of theta, as we said it was t opposite over a adjacent. So here it's going to be t over the square root of one minus t squared, which makes answer choice b the correct answer here. If this math is confusing to you, I highly suggest that you review the unit circle and trigonometry and forming trigonometric functions.